Secretary of the Navy, uh, Thomas Modley. Um, as um, most folks have probably heard by now, he's uh, actually uh, stepped down. Um, he kind of, I guess, uh, sealed his fate uh, right here on Guam, and he made this very impassioned uh, speech uh, to the crew of the Teddy Roosevelt, and uh, he called uh, the uh, very popular captain, former captain of the uh, ship, uh, too naive or too stupid to be a commander. Um, and he was blamed. Yeah, that's the famous uh, quote, and uh, that kind of sealed his fate. Yeah. <laughs> so Defense Secretary Mark Esper uh, announced that he had accepted their resignation, and that uh, he has appointed Army Undersecretary Jim McPherson, who actually happens to be a retired admiral. Oh, wow. He's the next uh, acting... Uh, Matt and S, you know, this, uh, this story was the epitome of a rapidly evolving uh, situation. <laughs> <laughs> it was rapid. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> it's so rapid that when I went on to anchor the news, I started reading the story, and it was that he had made the speech, and then by the time I got to the end of it, it was like, wait a second, he resigned? What? <laughs> huh? I don't, you go, what was I? Well, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the, the speed of, uh, 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 as uh, uh, this story evolved, it definitely... Right, because it... Uh, it, he made the, the SoundCloud uh, audio went out, then he apologized, and then he quit. Yeah. Right, that's... Yeah, we, we've got copies. Uh, you know, God bless the internet. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and I, you can find it. <laughs> and I think that was a, a good, a good. And you know, I mean, for all intents and purposes, I'm pretty sure he was told to step down. But I think it was a good look. Uh, you know, if you listen to his uh, comments, they were just way the hell out there. You know what I mean? There was there was all kinds of stuff that was just troubling. Uh, but you know, to throw that that I, and Co- Captain Crozier definitely is slam dunk a COVID hero. Uh, but the way that he threw him under the bus, and you could hear Ness in the in the sailors, right? And so this recording, these sailors were listening to this speech, and they were <laughs> reacting. And there was one where, oh the, gosh, yeah, he had said something about Captain Crozier, and then one of the sailors, you could hear him. He was like, "What the f?" <laughs> yeah, we had to. We had, we had to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. <laughs> and so it was. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It was crazy yeah. because you could hear the crew reacting in real time upset. to the stuff the secretary and they were. And you know when the governor talks about they got to maintain order, these guys are so upset that they that wasn't even you know part of their uh, thought process. They're just reacting in real time. For him to speak yeah. like you know, that you know, though, oh, crazy. Gosh. Yeah. You know. What, you know what's ironic? I think is that you know uh, when the uh, uh, the secretary was talking to their troops. Um, he was talking about how um, Brett Crozier was too naive or too stupid to think that this would get out in this age you know, exactly. <laughs> of um, you know, information. information. And then that's how this came out. <laughs> <laughs> Like karma. That, what was that he said? It's because he wasn't naive and dumb and stupid. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, so what's... What's going on with um, session? Are you hearing anything? Like, what's going to be on the agenda? Well, no, not yet. I, 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 I'm thinking they might be in caucus, but I heard uh, Senator Teresa on on your ear, so I'm not sure what the deal is. Uh, we've got in uh, our uh, requests for updates on what will specifically be on the agenda. Uh, my listening to Senator Moreland uh, talking earlier, and uh, he doesn't know either, but he's got an idea of based on you know. The, the people, the sponsors, um, he's got an idea of what he thinks will be on, on the agenda. But as as for the uh, official agenda for tomorrow's session, uh, we, we, we don't have it. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm anticipating um, that this is going to be one to watch, and I wonder if there's going to be a power move made. You know, I wonder if these, uh, these and it all comes, it's the math, right? So uh, it's always been the case where, you know, Speaker Tina has her gang, and, uh, you know, they kind of just ram stuff through. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm curious right now. I, I know that these senators, they understand that people of Guam, we're staying home and we don't really have anything to do but watch you. And so I, think I hope that, it's streaming. Yeah, yeah I, I think they're I think they're well aware that all eyes are going to be on mm-hmm. them, especially among people that are in need right now. And there's a lot of them uh, that are in need of, uh, of help. And so, yeah, yeah it's going to be a very, uh, you know, for their it's going to be a very critical session absolutely you can watch them on television or you can watch them um streaming on their youtube channel so for for those of you that are out there listening yeah but as soon as we get the uh, you know a, a copy of the agenda then of course we'll share that yeah yeah, yeah. okay Nessa. anything else uh, you want to add anything else you're working on uh, for today that you want to share with us 
Uh, that, that's it for now. He, don't but you know just, he has enough? That's plenty. No, I know. That's plenty. <laughs> it's just, it's just uh, continually developing. Rapidly yeah. evolving. Rapidly uh, evolving. All right. So thanks, thanks Nest. Nest. There you go. Nestor Leconte. When you talk about people who have uh, stepped up, man, he has... He has stepped up, and he's been very consistent. And Yeah, waking up early, too, just right. to monitor all of this that's going on. And, you know, our work is kind of tripled because we're trying to monitor what's happening D.C., what's happening oh, with the Department yeah. of Defense, what's yeah. happening here, what's happening there. And I'm really proud of our, of, of our team. Yeah, uh, no doubt. I'm proud of our uh, audience. And, uh, you know, you guys can help us out, too. Uh, all this information that you get on the show you know, share it. Uh, sometimes I, I hear, uh, you know, these press conferences, sometimes when I hear the question the media, ha- the other media has, I'm like, man, with it, I feel like that was addressed already. So just for you guys out there, watch the show, uh, get the information. I mean, we're speaking to the people who uh, know what's up and, you know, they're in that position to, to say these things. So share the broadcast and, and go back and watch it. Remember that we take this four hour show and we break up all the interviews and put them in a format. Uh, for you guys to share. You know, one that was going around uh, yesterday that I was getting some messages on was our talk with Father uh, Paul Guffigan. Yeah, that was really emotional. And yeah. it's kind of, if you didn't watch,